morning everyone, Angus Campbell here, Sunday the 21st of July and a quick trip out to Founders Day, Stamford Hall, which is about uh, only about 12 miles from where I live, um, about half past 10 in the morning, people just arriving for the day. I've come here pretty early because I, uh, I have to be home uh, for lunchtime, uh, but you can see there's plenty here already. Yeah, and there's Steve Rotherer, and there's the bike. Okay, everyone. Uh, yeah, sorry about that quick interruption. That was uh, Steve Rotherer. Just bumped into as soon as I've arrived. He's uh, a friend of mine from uh, Trident Rocket Three Owners Club days and bees off, etc. Um, also into restoring late model um, Triumph and uh, BSAs. Uh, but anyway, we're in at Stamford Hall. Going to have a mosey around now. We've got a cup of tea. Um, lots of people here already, and. Uh, time now still not 11 o'clock yet but a uh, quick fly around for an hour and then I've got to shoot home but we'll see what's going on and I've come across any in anything interesting from uh, obviously the power set that's what we're there for um, I'll uh, I'll bring you back cheers oh dear oil in frame not my cup of tea I don't think but somebody liked it <laughs> Somebody rode it. Rigid rear end. <coughs> uh, my uh, A70 was semi sort of chopperized, but not as bad as that. Not sure what year, but uh, anyway, oil in frame. Who was it? 71 Daytona. One of the models they did very little with uh, for model year 71. It was basically a 1970, really just with uh, new paint and this one is um, around about May it's uh, engine number EE so it's May 71 so yep has the indicators uh, but um, on the engine as yet it doesn't have the additional inspection covers they put in the uh, in the rocket covers to allow you to get feeler gauges in that was a bit of a later mod so 71 power set but uh, really from 1970-69 in um, oh what's his name Brad Jones excellent book um, you'll see there the fact that uh, he compares it with the other models and the fact that they did nothing with this really just uh, tarted it up a little and uh, brought it into 71 right everyone not power set but I, uh, I had to video this my first uh, British bike was uh, 1968 A65 Lightning and that got me on the road in 1976 and then 1977 I bought a 1975 T160 and that was a good bike until it did the usual trick of um, one of the big end bolts undoing. Um, this is allegedly new and unused with uh, only push miles in it or delivery miles uh, it's got the uh, UK bars but that's uh, an export tank so it's a smaller tank and it hasn't got the uh, central white line uh, which distinguishes it from the, uh, the British tank which is bigger but uh, yeah all original without a doubt distal unused Still got the original um, air cleaner, so yeah, it looks pretty genuine. But I always like styling these bikes, they're great bikes. And I think the American uh, styling with their slightly higher bars is even better, but great bike anyway. Not power set, but a beautiful bike. I love adventurous stroke trophy trails. What a fantastic bike. Oh, well, it's a, yeah, so not power set, but obviously um, B25, B50 uh, oil and frame. Um, I love these. I've got um, an original tank with the uh, red colour. I can't remember which, um, what the official name is for the colour, but I've got one in uh, original paint at home in good nick. I'll, uh, I'll dig it out when I get home. Uh, that tank's not right, I don't think. Um, maybe it is. I'm just looking at the colour scheme. Um, 
or the, or the pattern of the colour on the tank. Might be right, we'll check it when we get home with the, the one I've got, but anyway, who cares. What a fantastic bike. I love those. I haven't got room in the garage for one, but I love it. Right, um, this is uh, a bike that's been ridden here, good for it, and uh, we're just going to have a quick mosey up and down the lines before we leave. It's a bit of a rush job today uh, to get back for another event at, uh, at home. So we'll wander down the lines and see what else we can see before we uh, fire up the old gal and mosey home. Okay, we'll go down these lines on this side and then we cross over the road in the middle there to the other side in the distance come up that line and my bike's over there somewhere we'll see if there's anything we can find okay first one about halfway down on the left hand side there we go just looking at the uh, obviously the, the colour of the tank and, and side panels isn't original but it's a nice nice colour follows the original colour pattern frame's quite a nice colour and ridden here, that's the main thing. A bit later, um, not original side panel transfers either, but they go. Okay, that's one, good. Okay, that was the end of uh, that line. There's the hall, and um, we'll just go to the top end of that line and uh, down that to mine which is over there on the left somewhere but I do love the setting for this uh, for this event and we'll try and get here and uh, spend a bit more time uh, next year but you see we have a uh, beautiful green mall up to the house where the uh, visitors park and then the other side of these uh, vehicles here is the uh, which you can't see I'm sorry about that uh, auto jumble field on the left hand side and then the main, main arena on the right hand side yeah, um, great venue. Right, top end of this row will come down and then we'll fire up the old gal and hit, hit the road. There you go, another view of the uh, rows we're going to go down and uh, the exit is at the end there. So we'll see if we can find anything here. Well, there you go, I like it. We've come across uh, an early... Uh, Early 71, A75. Um, obviously used, which is good. Not sure whether the um, paint's original or not. I don't think so, but they do, they have followed the original paint line on the tank. I'll show you mine in a minute because mine's wrong, but that's right. And this one's got the uh, alternative uh, seat on it as well, and it still looks okay, I think. But yeah, here she is. Shame I didn't see it earlier, otherwise I'd have parked mine next to it. Let's see what we've got number wise. And she's a five speed two. Right, like mine, this is an RV, mine's a V, but that's great. Well, there you go. Never thought I'd see um, another grain frame uh, Rocket 3 in export, seven, uh, Mark II, never mind a five-speeder. So, that's made it worthwhile. Nice one. Well, coming to, to near the end of the row, and there's another one, Tiger 650, single carb, only frame. I think one of the original colours for the Triumph range was uh, was blue. We'll have to look that up when we get back. Obviously, I've got uh, as faith with the Triumphs and the BSAs. But yeah, it's softly ridden, looked after. And again, it's here, ridden here, which is great. And actually, I've just noticed just behind it in the distance there, just to the left of those gents. That to me looks like. A Bonnie too, but a later one. Might even be a special actually with the uh, Leicester mags on it. I used to have one of those too. I bought it brand new. 1977, 78, sorry. Yeah, T140D special export. 
mag wheels, beautiful bike. And there we are back to the old gal. Um, people ask me why I keep referring to her as the old gal. Well, it's a bit of a sobering thought that uh, in a couple of years' time she'll be 50 years old, which then uh, gives you a good indication as to uh, how uh, we're all aging with it. And uh, just going back to my previous reference to the tank, you can see on this tank here, on my tank, the paint line goes above the filler cap. Whereas originally, and as on uh, the bike we've just seen, uh, the paint line should actually go sort of through the filler cap. So I'm not going to do anything about it. Um, I still think this looks good, but it's not quite right. So, uh, and there's lots of things not quite right about this, side panel transfers, other bits and pieces, but hey, it's uh, my bike, and touch wood, it's running well. Um, I've said it now, but I hope you'll get me over okay. Right, we'll hit the, uh, hit the road, get on with it. <laughs> 